Welcome to I Buy Stuff channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to enable NTFS writing on M1 chip Mac and Mac OS Mixer. This method also works on Mac OS Kalina and Mojave. No software is needed, no reformatting, no, no, no. It's totally free, and this method will involve terminal command. Don't worry, I will walk you through the whole process, step by step. If you're interested, keep watching. If you have an external drive with NTFS, when you connect it to your Mac computer, usually you can only read this drive. You can view the information of the folders and open the folders and you will see the file list. But when you open the files, you will just see the locked and the read-only message beside the file name. And you can drag the files out of the drive, in, but you can save any files to it. Your existing file can't be edited, deleted, or named. Why Mac can't just write NTFS? Well, NTFS is one of the proprietary file systems by Microsoft. Anybody or any company who want to fully use it, you have to pay, pay for the license. I don't think Apple would like to pay for that. Okay, after a little chit chat and background, I'm going to show you how to enable NDFS reading and writing support natively by editing the macOS extensions. But before we get a hands on it, I want to warn you that this method is not fully tested by Apple, and I have seen data loss during the usage, and many people, many other people complained that this method may cause disk corruption too. So all attempts are at your own risk. Well, you can see this is my external drive. Get the info. It's formatted with Windows NT file system. I open it. I just can view the file, the folder here, and I can't save any pictures to it. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to modify the kernel extension to enable NDS writing just natively in macOS Pixar. I will show you first of my computer information. It's a MacBook Air with M1 chip. It's running macOS Pixar version 11.0.1. Okay. Then, then go to terminal. I'm going to input the command lines here. If you don't know what to do exactly, you can check the text tutorial in the video description and just copy and paste the command in your terminal and it will work the same, okay? Put sudu space and a and o space forward slash etc forward slash FSTAB and hit the enter. Then you will be asked to input your password. You just put the password there and there's no character or numbers will be shown up, but it's okay. Then just hit the enter. Then you will see the see a file editor here. Label in capital equal your disk name. My disk name is iVoiceSoft, then space now, space NTFS RW comma AUTO auto comma no browse. Then use the control and L key to save the change. Then you will see a file name to write here. Then hit the enter button to confirm the change. You will see row the one line here. Then just press Ctrl and X to exit the editor. After Mac restarts and you connect your NTFS disk to the Mac again, and it won't be mounted on the desktop. You have to go to the disk utility and open in Finder. So right click it and showing vendor. Now you can see I can rename this folder and save files to it. 
It's working. Uh, I want to make this video a step further because many people may wonder how to disable the NTFS writing function after enabling it. Okay, let's go back to my computer. You just to need to do the exactly the same. Just open the terminal, then input to the command line, just exactly the same. Slash and input the password again. No capter will show in the end. You will see this command line. You just need to delete this command command line and save the change. Okay, I have deleted the command line and I'm going to save the change by press Ctrl and O. Okay, and hit enter. And then just wrote one line means you have saved the change. Now you're going to press Ctrl and X to exit the editor. Just exactly as the same what we did. Now you just need to close the terminal and restart your computer. And after restart, the native NTFS writing support is disabled. I personally don't recommend you use this method because uh, it may cause data loss, but it's up to you. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, just please subscribe to our channel and I will really appreciate it. I will see you very soon with a lot of more videos.